From the longest serving alderman in Chicago history to a federal inmate, Ed Burr reported to prison today. He will serve his sentence for racketeering and bribery in Western Illinois. Our Germont Terry is always investigating, looking into how he might spend his sentence and others who've done similar time. Germont? Joe Ed Burke spends the first of 730 nights in federal prison. Now, he was once one of the most powerful Chicago aldermen, and tonight he's just one of 2,000 at that federal facility. Yet another alderman who has unfortunately taken that fall from grace. When the feds raided Ed Burke's office at City Hall in 2018, it was the first time publicly we knew Chicago's longest serving alderman was under investigation. Five years later, Burke left the Dirksen Federal Building a guilty man. A jury convicted him of racketeering and bribery. And today, he's listed as a federal inmate number 53698-424. The disgraced alderman will serve his two-year prison sentence at the Thompson Federal Prison in Western Illinois, where according to the prison handbook, he will wake up at 6 a.m. daily and be forced to make his own bed neatly. For him, it's a 180 degree uh, turnabout from being high and mighty to being uh, listening to orders of other people. And experts say it started the moment Burke stepped foot into the federal encampment. The reality is that some gangsters are, they're scared when they go to prison, as well as a white collar criminal. John Doc Fuller consults new convicts on what to expect on the inside, although he has not worked with Burke. He knows a lot of people. Um, bribery, Corruption in Chicago is nothing new. He's right. Burke is the latest, but definitely not the first in Chicago to face prison time. More than 30 city council members have all been tied to corruption cases since the early 1970s. In 2013, Sandy Jackson pled guilty to filing false tax returns in connection to then-husband Jesse Jackson Jr.'s scheme. She served 11 months. That same year, federal jury found former alderman and Cook County Commissioner William Beavers guilty of tax evasion. He failed to report campaign money as income. He used the cash to gamble. He served six months. I would like to tell all of you. Tenth Ward Alderman Ed Verdoliak was convicted twice. In 2011, he served 10 months for a real estate kickback scheme. Then in 2020, he was sentenced to 18 months for another scheme, but didn't report to prison until a year later due to his health. Now, as for Burke, if he serves that full two years, he'll be 82 when he is released. But with good behavior, he could get out as early as May 2026. Live in the control room tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS News, Chicago. Joe? Jermont, thanks.